There we go. Alright, let's get to it. Uh, let's see here. I think I can take this counter away for a while. Let's see here. Let's take a Okay, a fake chest. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to assemble an uh, assemble an actual body. Uh, scissors. They use these for surgery, right? Let's see. Syringes, cups, a plate. There's a sort of scissorish thingy. Hmm. Forceps. Okay. But the a uh, surgical tools. Uh, let me see here. Anything else I can use? Nope. Okay. Let's find here. Oh. Oh! Any places here? Another Are medic. They... Oh, sorry. It's fine. Another medical mannequin? From the looks of it, this one's a chick. She has a name too. Lucy. I met Lucy. Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only had it has a head and left arm. Maybe we're supposed to gather all of her parts. Well, we already got this bed. Doesn't look very comfortable. Well, we got this. So, oh, we do. I have to wait. I think you have to get all of them first. Oh, okay then. It's the same thing with um the painting. Okay. Uh, need to swap. Uh, whoops. I need to swap items. How do I do that again? S it, how do I? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and s actually save. Want to make sure that we are, we're actually good. Uh, no. Uh, item item tab. I'm just trying to figure out how to swap items. How do I do that? Oh, I just press it. Okay. Um, wait. I use I use this. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Let's go this way to the uh, to the. Hmm, it's locked. We can probably find a key if we just look some more. Let's look somewhere else. Okay. Uh, all these m medicines. The jar is empty. Yeah, nothing here. Maybe you're supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill the bacteria? There's a boiling thingy over there. There's nothing on the lid or in the drawers. What's this thing? It, it's got these short iron legs. Maybe it's a heater? There's nothing inside it. Uh, let's see here. A an anatomical model. Ah, okay then. Uh, maybe you can combine these two? Nope. The chest of a medical mannequin. Can we just say that this is an anatomic model? Because that's what it is. The organ is... Or... <gasps> no! Oh, right, Dave. Really, Clover? I expected more from you. Oh, like you could do better? Test of the medical mannequin. Oh. If you pull out the lung on the right, there's still uh, more stuff in there. Man, you're kind of slow, are you? You say something? Okay, nothing else. Okay. Now let's go back. Oh! This, ugh, a bloody scalpel. A scalpel, that's not rusty. Seems like I could put it here for a reason, huh? You think it's telling us to cut something? Yeah, I do. Wait. Try cutting this organ with a scalpel. Oh, well, that's just... Wait a second. Nope. Thought it would have, like, a keyhole or something. Gross. That's a chest. It's a woman's chest. The heart's gone, but it's pretty hot. If that kind of thing turns you on, Seven, you're a real creepo. Oh, well, I thought, like, hot, it, like, it would be, like, uh, like actual heat, and, uh, but yikes. Uh, let's see here. Everything else is, is, is rusty. Uh. This doll over here looks like a woman. You mean Lucy? Yeah. 
Hey, this thing says something too. It says John. Miss Lucy over there only has a, only has got a, a head in the left arm. Looks like John still got his parts though. What the hell's going on over here? Creepy mannequin, a, a medical mannequin is laying on the bed. Apparently, his name is John. I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on the display. Oh, um, kilograms? Looks like it. You think maybe it's a scale? Huh? There's some sort of lid on this thing. Why don't you try opening it? Can't. There's no handle. I can't get under it with my nails either. There's something that looks like it could be a scale next to the operating table. And there's something that looks like a lid on the front of it. Operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? I have no idea. Hmm. Uh, the chem room. Awesome. Unlocked. Okay. Blue liquid. Okay. Uh, red liquid. Do you have to combine these two? Nope. There's a note on top of the table. Iron equals one, salt equals two, water equals three. Carbon dioxide unknown, ammonia uh, unknown, ethanol unknown. What's the hint for? And it's got something to do with this box? Hmm. Is it coming from the uh, from this bottle? It says NH3. Well, of course that stinks. It's ammonia. Wait. Hmm. What's this? Looks like a can with a spray nozzle. It says CO2. Uh, so that's carbon uh, dioxide. Hey, Junpei. That's a uh, uh, dihydrogen monoxide on the shelf. Why don't you just say water? There's a bottle of ammonia on the table. It says NH3. Oh, good stuff! Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says uh, C2H5OH, right? It's ethanol. That's right. It's also known as eth uh, ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made out of. So, you're gonna drink it? Nah, I won't. It might say uh, uh, what. It might say that's what's on the, uh, what it is on the label, but that could be anything in there. Okay, do you think there are any slugs on that ship? Huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on that. Oh, escargot! Salt, huh? Do you think Seven will shrivel up if we put it on him? Hey, can you say something? Junpei, there's a bottle of iron powder on the shelf. How do you know it's iron? The label says Effie. Effie stands for iron, right? Hmm. The box is locked. Looks like you have to enter a passcode. Only in, only three in. E enter C clear. Yada yada. But what would be the answer? Iron is one. But what do we need? NH three. N is nitrogen and H is hydrogen. So in other words, ammonia is made of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. Hmm. Come on. One salt water. It couldn't be four, five, six. Well, look at the first line. Maybe question mark represents a number. Hmm. 
Bottle of salt. Label says NACL. Wait, is this a is this a formula for something? Hold on a second. Uh, C two H three O H. Hmm. Hold on a second. And don't worry, it's not. It's I'm just I'm just typing something in chat. So that way I can uh, that way I can have notes. It's a pretty smart way for me to do it. Okay, ball of iron powder, F E. Actually, wait. I should probably uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So basically, ethanol is made of two carbon atoms. Hold on a second. Actually, can you uh, can you be the one taking notes, uh, Mickey? Yeah, I got it. Okay, thanks. Okay, hold on. Let me copy the first one from here. Uh, well, uh, well, it's the same. It's the same thing as uh, as last time. It's it's the formula that I typed in. Yeah, I know. That's what I meant. I can see it on the chat. Anyway, six hydrogen atoms and and uh, and one uh, and one oxygen atom. Okay. Bottle of ammonium on the shelf. Ammonium is comprised of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. So it's uh, uh, so it is. Uh, NH3. Iron is, uh, is, uh, iron is FE. It's a molecule with only one atom. There's a bottle of water on the shelf. The label says H2O. There's a, there's a canister of carbon dioxide on the shelf. The label says CO2. Hmm. CO2. C is for carbon, zero, and O is for oxygen. Carbon dioxide is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Hmm. Maybe... Oh! Uh, do you think maybe we have to combine uh, uh, the, um... Uh, of we need to combine uh, the certain amount of atoms in, in in here. It looks like it. That makes sense. Okay. Well, uh, well, what are the ones that we have so far? Um, ethanol is H six zero, which is I believe seven. NH3 is four, and the one that you copied in chat, I didn't record the name. I think that's um, I think that's um, uh, I think that's um, I believe that should be ammonium. I thought ammonium was NH3. Oh yeah, you're right. Hold on, let me go back and check again. Okay. Uh, ethanol. Oh, nope. it's ethanol. Two C's, three, uh, two threes. I mean, two. What the heck am I doing? Two C's, uh, six H's, and one O. Okay, actually, no, that's not the one. Check the top shelf. I think that's where you found it. Ammonium. Uh, one nitrogen and three hydrogen. Where did we get C2H5 from? Um, OH. NaCl, Na it is sodium, Cl is chloride. So salt is made up of one sodium atom and one chloride atom. God, it's been, it's, it, I know it's been a year for me since I did chemistry, but jeez. Okay, of, I, I wasn't very good at it, too. Um, uh, uh, there's a bottle of I, uh, iron powder on the shelf. Like, uh, like I was decent at chemistry, it's just that, just that it's been so long, and doing puzzles like this is gonna drive me insane. A uh, canister of carbon dioxide... Where do we get it? Uh, I believe. Uh, I believe. I think uh, we just accidentally recorded it. Uh, ethanol. Ethanol would be this. Oh, we we I recorded it incorrectly. Okay, yeah. It's the, it means the same thing. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this. One. Can you type out what? Can you type out what each of these are possibly in the chat? Possibly, Miki. Got it. Hang on. Wait, you just want me to copy it? 
Uh, uh, like, uh, like, copy the information that you got and the formulas that are uh, that go along with them. Ah, okay. One sec. Because then I should be able to figure this out, hopefully. Oh yeah, I was doing some counting. I didn't count for ethanol, though. Ethanol is uh, ethanol is unknown. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, ethanol, ammonium, and carbon dioxide are unknown. Okay, good. Th those are the ones I got. Okay, and 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 water is self-explanatory. Yep. All right. Let's see here. Oh, uh, we need to figure out what the other ones are, I guess. Hmm? So we uh, so I just need to figure out carbon dioxide, ammonia, and ethanol. Yep, and we've already kind of gotten the formulas for those. Okay, so we know that, uh, we know that, uh, that iron's not gonna help, uh, since there's no Fe involved. Um, what, wait, hold on. Uh, salt, N-A-C-L. Um, N-A... I know that won't work, so I just need to work with water, I guess? Is that what I'm working with? Wait, there's three numbers, right? Yeah. That you have to enter? And we and we found three other numbers. Do you think those are it? Like, huh? even we don't have to do any... Ad if we Even if we try adding them, it won't give us three digits. Uh, so, uh, so, what, are we supposed to count how many atoms there are? No. I think the answer's right in front of us. Don't freaking tell me. If it's if it's literally that, I'm going to be upset. Okay. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Let's come back here uh, later. Maybe we can get some more details. Okay. Jinpei, where are you going? That's the door we came through. The only thing out there is the number door. Pretty sure I don't need to tell you that the number door is a, is a one with deal, so. You're saying there's no point going back there, huh? And they're nodding. Awesome. Hmm. Can we even. Wait. Wait. Maybe I can mix these? Uh, we probably need to mix them in the. in the main building, I guess. A scale. I think I need to mix it, uh, um, I think I need to mix it in the, in that room. Just wooden partition. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back in, in there and figure out the puzzle. Dang it. Let me see the note. Methanol is made of two C's, six H's, and one O. Wait a minute. Is it wanting me to count each? What do you mean? It wants me to count how many atoms. Looks Maybe. Like it, yeah. Um, but will that even be enough? Actually, no. There wouldn't. It wouldn't be possible since ammonia <laughs> requires nitrogen. Oh, you're saying like specific ones? Okay. I thought you meant like at like total atoms. C uh, uh, um, carbon dioxide on the shelf. CO2 molecule is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Just to, just let me know when you uh, when you got all the details. Oh, I have them. Okay then. Dang it. One ammonium, one nitrogen, three hydrogen. Um. Possible answer? Hmm? You mind if I give a pause answer? I don't remember doing this that often, so it might just be like random. But come on, go to the pad. Uh, the what? This? No, no, no the um, buns. Oh, okay. Let's try. 
try three, four, nine. How? Oh. Carbon dioxide is ammonia is four. Ethyl is nine. Oh my. So we were on the track. We just didn't know exactly how to. Oh well, I figured out. What? What do you mean I can't combine these? Oh well. Did you take the arm? A heart. This ain't good for the heart. And we got an arm. Wait, maybe we can combine these? Nope, okay. What were you supposed to do with the uh, with the other parts? Like the uh, like the bottles, like the liquid. I think we should go back. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Hmm? Hey, Seven, what's up? Oh, well, is is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Ethylene diamine tartrate. Yeah, that's right. CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. It looks like it's cleaned my brain up. You remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner. Like I told you before, but... A year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. With the hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Even ones nowhere near that first American factory. They didn't make crystals the same way, the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just spread. This is the same as the Illyrium crystals, right? Right, Miki? I'm honestly not too sure. I'm not great with chemistry either. Who's no, I'm talking about it's the same story. How do you say it? Oh, oh. I believe it's sim Yeah, it seems similar. Like the molecules were communicating with one another, transmitting oh, information yeah. in a way humans couldn't perceive. This phenomena spread throughout the world. Right. Yeah, that's... That's it exactly. But how did you know? I heard another story, uh, kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. What? The freezer? Yeah, June told me. Hmm. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? That sounds familiar. Yeah, hold on. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. Do you? Know about Ice-9? Is that it? go either way. I'm going with Ice-9. Do you know about Ice-9? Ice-9? Ice-9. Ice-9. Ice. 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 That's it. I remember now. That woman, she's on this boat. That woman? Alice! Who the hell is Alice? Who's Alice? Come on. The woman who won't melt at room temperature. Huh? You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Yeah, more than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Uh, I think that was the RMS Carpathia, right? It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. The ship that collected the dead bodies was the CS McKay Bennett. The McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. It set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. The Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be for there to be icebergs and stuff. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. This isn't a very nice story. So, what happened next? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. 
There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things the drowned had carried with them, or stuff that dislodged as the ship sank. One of the things they found was a coffin. A coffin? Yeah, a wooden one. The craftsman who made it must have been pretty skilled. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood. No nails, no reinforcements, no gaps in the wood anywhere. The thing was airtight. The crew got pretty curious about what might be inside it and opened it up. They had to get a wedge and hammer it open and they saw what they did. Inside, they found a woman. Or, I guess you should say, they found the dead body of a woman. Her hair was thick and black, and her skin rich brown with no blemishes or signs of decomposition. They say that she looked gorgeous, like a goddess. She was obviously dead, but everyone who looked at her said she just looked like she was sleeping. Her skin was so lifelike, she looked like she might wake up any minute. But she didn't. Like the rest of the bodies they found, she was frozen solid. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching and returned to Halifax. The 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. They say that the stink was horrible. But there was one body that didn't thaw. And that was... The girl in the coffin. That's right. Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them eventually. But weeks passed and nothing happened. A month passed, and another. It was summer, and she was still frozen solid. After a while, people started to say she was some sort of miracle. Rumors about her started to spread. People came to visit Halifax from all over. After a while, people started to call her All Ice. Alex. Of course, those rumors didn't last long. Why? Well, she up and disappeared. One day Alice was there, the next day she wasn't. They say someone snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. With the body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. After a while, no one remembered her. You might be able to find something about her if you could find a newspaper from back then, but that's about it. Wait, you just said that she was on this boat? Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on the ship. Now why the hell would you say something like that? Because I know. And just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen? All right. <laughs> happened to Alice? Well, around that time, the word was that there was a special black market in New York. All millionaires from all over the world. That's kind of messed up. So you're telling me that people were bidding over dead bodies? Like I've it. heard that Alice went up for auction there. The person who won the auction was Lord Dashiell Gordain. Of course. You've heard that name before, right? Lord Gordain. Oh, isn't he the guy who bought the Gigantic? The Titanic sister ship. Yeah, that's him. Although I guess he hadn't done that yet. What do you mean? Gordain bought Alice in 1912. And four years later, in 1916, he bought the Gigantic. And he hid Alice somewhere on the Gigantic, but nobody knows where. He died in 1931, and apparently he died without ever telling anyone where Alice was hidden. However... However... what? Well, he did have one close friend who asked him, where is Alice? And he said... Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. Hmm. What the hell is that? Is it some kind of riddle? Your guess is as good as mine. So that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the gigantic. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this ship. Hmm. Hey! What are you two doing over there? Stop wasting time and get over here! All right, all right. Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez! Yeah, so, anyway, that's the story. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. Alice. Huh. That mummy, that mummy wasn't, wasn't just, just a normal, normal mummy. mummy. They say that she was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. Is it possible that she uh, that she developed uh, into ice? Uh, that she had ice six, uh, ice nine through her body? Huh. Interesting. Then was that Egyptian priestess Alice? Did the water in her body become ice nine? No, that, that's nuts. There's no way somebody like that could exist. Interesting. All right, from here, uh, let's see if we can uh, update your body. Uh, we can still. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe we can use the organ key here. Okay, perfect. Uh, hooks. I think you hang your cone here. There's a bunch of hooks. Let's see here. Oh! What is this? Is this some kind of medical record? New material has been added to the file screen. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, medical record. Medical record found in the in the preparation room. It has records for uh, the two mannequins. The uh, male mannequin named John and the female Lucy. Total weight. So the torso is five, three, four. Let's see your left arm. Hold on, let me check something. The right arm has a body. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. Maybe there's a scale we can use with this. Oh! And pour in. Oh. Uh, what's this? Oh! Wait, are we still reading? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I just oh. blinked. Well. Uh, uh, you're up. That, I, that's what I said. I heard a noise. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It sounds like something on. Wait, did I just accidentally solve a puzzle? Oh, uh, Jupiter. Oh, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can, um, maybe we can continue exploring with that. Hmm. Well, we saw something unlock. Oh, aha. Oh, I get it. Hold on a second. Pour in the red liquid. Bingo. Wait. Okay, we're so good. But we need to get into here. Do we need a bigger beaker? Or can we combine it to the both liquids? Nope. Hmm. A sink. The, uh, the doctors and nurses probably want. Oh. Oh, you sent me something. Let's take a look see. Ah. Ah. Yeah. You sent me. Uh, oh, that was much later. Yeah. That's with the Funyurimpa. Yes. Nothing suspicious here. But how do I get to purple? Um, I can't see the display anymore. I don't know what happened. Ah, there you go. It's literally all black. Well. Hmm. Alright, I can just maybe just try tuning in on. There we go. Got it. Bingo. There's uh, there's the stomach. All right, let's uh, let's make this. I think I got all the parts. Oh wait, I need the I need the other thing. Hold on. Uh, go back. Wait, hold on. There we go. Here, here, and then turn around and start uh, and start the crafting process. I think you can do it now, right? Seems like it. Well, I say we give Lucy her parts back. Many objections? Mickey? No, here's the thing. No, I was saying, um, the screen share for me just turned all black. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, let me let me go ahead and do that. I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, yes, share, yes. There we go. That should work. There we go. Perfect. Okay, yes. Nope. Agreed. All right, let's get started. Combine. Well, that was just anime. Number on here, 51 kg. Is that the weight? All right. Uh, I think we did it correct. Huh? Oh, don't tell me. How are we gonna? Don't worry. I took a picture of um. I did take a picture of the chart. Okay. Thanks. Uh, we're gonna need to. We're gonna need to switch their body parts. You kidding me? Okay. Give me one second. Uh, Discord uh, is loading on my phone. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. It's straight off of the screen though, so it might not be the best quality. Okay, this will work. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I can confirm that. Uh, I can confirm that the t uh, that the top is correct. What about the heart? Hold on. Yeah, the heart's correct. Okay, what about the arm? Or the actually, let's start with the arm next. The arm would be one. Okay, that's correct. What about the abdomen? Okay, I'm doing this correct. What about leg? Oh, okay. So I need to get it get to the proper weight. Okay. I'm gonna need to experiment some. You should stop sharing again. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Seriously? It's telling, me I've been dis it's telling me I've been disconnected. Hmm. Well, it's still live. And it says that you're still watching. Hmm. Uh, let me disconnect it and try again. Uh. Okay, let me try again. Alright. Okay, screen. Do that, that, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's see here. Oh, well, I got it. Hey, Junpei, I, I just heard something. Came from John's operating table. You better go check it out. Alright, let's take a look. Operating table. Oh, this? Oh! <gasps> Bingo! Sweet! We can now uh, get to the next rooms. Alright, let's book it. Wait, it's this way. No, actually, no, it would be the other way. Hey, hold on. Hmm? Oh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? Oh, uh... God damn it. Where the hell did she go? Uh, okay, d just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Come on. Let's get out of here. <sighs> what are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover. Can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Huh? That's why I'm pretty for him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh, uh. Hey. Love, faith. What, what were the words? What were the leaf love, words? Faith, love, and love. 
Yeah. That's uh, those are the right words. Oh yeah, it's in my pocket somewhere. Uh, ah, here it is. Good thing we got the bookmark. Four-leaf clover. Hey, did you know? Each leaf means something. Hope, faith, love, and luck. That's what a four-leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, Clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake, I, I mean, your brother. He's not dead. He's alive somewhere, but I'm sure of it. You've just got to believe in that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Yeah, I'm sorry if you hear any um, crunching. Go, there's one thing hmm? I want to ask you. I'm just snacking on something. If oh. you hear any crunching. Oh, yeah, that's completely all right. But I would be snacking on something too, but my god, I have to get blood work done tomorrow. Uh. What's that? Is it bad that I kind of want to binge this? No, not at all. Can we continue this tomorrow, possibly? Sure. Yay! T two streams in a row, let's go! What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Huh? Uh, what? Oh. Hmm. I guess it was just a coincidence, then. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but you are making less than no sense right now. Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh, don't, don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop this? What is this experiment you were talking about? You promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Cross my hope and uh, my... Frick, I can't speak. Cross my heart and hope to die. Really? Really. I can trust you, right? Of course. Of course you can. Okay, then. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. Wait, wait, wait. You, on, on this ship? Yeah. This ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Communicating through these fields that you can't see. Okay, so what you're telling me is that this is the ship uh, that was uh, that was testing morphogenic fields. Alright. Fields that you can't see? Like, think about this. This is John, right? But is he really John? Huh? Isn't this like Locke's socks? Or the ship of Theseus? Um... You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? No? Really? Okay, well pay attention then. This is how Locke's socks works. Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Uh, is this important? Not really. Uh, I'd probably patch it up. Well, I, I guess I'd patch it up, get some cloth, and close up the hole. But what if another hole opens? I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole opened after that? Oh, um, another patch? Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches, until eventually the original cloth of the sock is totally gone. Once you get to that point, can you really say they're the same socks you started with? Hmm. Uh, well, that, hmm, that's, oh, that, that's tough. So, that's the lock socks thing? Yeah, the ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship of Theseus. If you keep fixing the damaged parts of a ship, eventually it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Can you really say that ship is the same one you started with? And what if you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else? Then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? The one you repaired, or the one you built with all the original parts? Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. Is this John, or is it Lucy now? That makes sense. We did have to mess around with the parts. Uh... John's head and heart are both his, but apart from those and a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die and new ones are born. 
Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. If you take it a little further, those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? How long are you going to make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. <sighs> oh? What were you two doing? Is this some no, it wasn't. We were just... Just... Playing. With the mannequins. No. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. No. In fact, it was something more interesting than that. Playing with mannequins, huh? Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. Seven, shut up. <laughs> God dang it. <sighs> You're a dick. Y he is, truly. All right. I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking, just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine then. All right, can we say that uh, that this is a good stopping point for now? <laughs> yeah. All right, after uh, after it says you have uh, you have escaped, I'm going to be ending the recording. And then yeah, we right. uh, and then we can go ahead and plan for tomorrow. Uh, um what time would uh, uh, for tomorrow would be pretty good for you? We're honestly the same time, I think. All right, uh, six, uh, six, um, uh, six thirty, or do you want to go with? Actually, yeah, six thirty will probably be best. Yeah. All right then. Uh, All right. well. Let's get going. Let's get going. I'm surprised I haven't hit a bad ending yet. Hey man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know. Can't you sound more happy? You know, get a little excited. <sighs> <sighs> Not really. <sighs> my brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. God, I hope not. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. And with that... And with that, we can save... And let's actually take a look at how far we are in the flowchart, because I'm actually quite curious. Uh, here, and flowchart. Oh! Okay, then. So, I'm actually... I haven't hit a, a, a bad end yet, so that's good. I have no idea how far this, uh, this goes, but... I can say that, uh, based on the choices I made, I think I'm doing decent. Am I doing decent? I think I'm doing decent. Looks like it. And I'm trying to figure out where this one goes to. Hmm? And you see this path right here? The very, the one on, like, the one that's like all the way to the other side? Yeah, you, you see the cursor, right? Uh, no, but I do know which one you're talking about. Yeah, on the very right. Like around here. I'm trying That's to figure if it out. you continue to persist to go through door three. Oh. You keep like insisting, like, no, I want to go to door three. I want to go to door three. Okay, then. Gotcha. I'll probably have to do that at some point, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I can uh, since we went ahead and saved, I can go ahead and end it, right? Yep. All right. Well, join uh, will join me and Miki tomorrow at the same time, and we will continue to go through uh, to go through 999 and hopefully we'll be able to get a decent ending. Uh, uh, yep. s s s see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.